Hey everyone, I Carb Athlete. Um, today's video we're going to start talking about losing weight. How do you lose weight and how do you recover fast from exercise or um, just everyday life um, in general. Um, first way to do it is to change your diet. You need to go on a clean vegan diet. You cannot have meat and dairy and all that rubbish in your diet at all. And if you do, um, your body's not going to recover fast because you have all the fat and cholesterol and uh, hormones and all that stuff. Even if it says hormone free, you still have animal hormones inside the food. Okay, it's not hormone free, uh, regardless of what it says. If it says no antibiotics, it's all a little crap. It's all anything on the front of a, a package is usually a lie. Um, you're gonna look at ingredients um, and figure out what's in the product itself. Um, you can put anything on the front to market it, anything, and it doesn't have to be true, okay? <laughs> um, so first things first, change to a vegan diet, straight up, plant-based, no animal products, um, and that would be your first step into losing weight and recovering fast. Um, second is to get out and move consistently every single day to lose weight. Um, you can't. You'll lose weight on a vegan diet just hanging out and just going about your business, but it'll accelerate if you get out and move. And it doesn't have you don't have to go out and run a marathon or half marathon or anything like that. Go out and walk or run three miles or even just play with your kids out back. You know, handstand, be silly with them, run around, play tag, whatever it is. Run with your dog, walk with your dog, um, do anything like that and uh, you'll see big changes. And then as your energy and your weight goes down and your energy increases, um, you'll be able to start doing more. You'll have more energy to go out and run further. And then on top of that, the more we get into this video, you'll understand you'll recover fast and you'll, the next day you'll want to go out, you're not going to be sore. Um, so third is to get off stimulants. And what I mean is coffee. Um, and, this was a big thing for me. I never understood the power of getting off coffee until I just recently got off coffee and it made the biggest difference in the world, like night and day. Um, and the reason why we want to do this is because it actually screws up our lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system um, is a f function in our system, uh, in our body, that actually um, controls our immune system. Um, it cre creates uh, lymphocytes, um, and what these do is these are actually uh, disease-fighting cells. Um, and what happens is they remove fluids for, uh, from our body tissue and absorb fat, um, and it helps our circulatory system. So the more our blood moves around our body and delivers nutrients to our body, the more we can uh, recover faster the better we can perform and, uh, and the faster we can lose weight. Okay, my dog is going nuts. All right, okay, okay, go lay down, go lay down. Um, and coffee, another bad thing uh, that doesn't help with um, losing weight is um, it creates insomnia, the jitters, you know, you're alert all the time, which is, you may think is a good, good thing, but your body needs to rest. You know, your body, you can't be on all the time because of because of a stimulant, you know. Nutritionally, yeah, you can be on time. I mean, uh, nutritionally, you can be on on point, but um, coffee, you're gonna crash. You know, you can't you can't just keep kicking back the coffees over and over and over again. I've been there, you know, relying on coffee. You know, I have four kids, and I thought that was the answer to keeping up with them, and it's not. And I've noticed this just recently, um, the biggest change. Um, it can create dizziness and elevated heart rate, which is not good. Um, excess thirst, irritability, cramping in the muscles, so performing athletically. Drinking coffee is actually doing the exact opposite. Um, it's decreasing blood flow, um, and you're actually gonna start cramping up. Okay, um, so once the circulation is compromised, um, you build, build up metabolic waste in your muscles, inside your system, inside the lymph lymphatic system. And um, if you can't get rid of that metabolic waste, you'll uh, start to 
mainly you're, you you won't be able to recover fast because your you, your muscles will still be filled with all that metabolic waste the next day, um, and also metabolic waste when it comes to your digestive uh, system. You know, constipation um, is huge with with caffeine. You may think, oh, you know, it's a diuretic. You know, you you you're drinking coffee and all, you know, it makes me go in the morning. It's what, what's actually happening is you're actually slightly adding a little hydration to your system. Um, and that's why your system, all of a sudden you feel like you gotta go. Um, and we're gonna get into why that makes a big difference as far as hydration in the morning, especially. Um, and caffeine acts, acts as a, a, a vasoconstrictor. Um, and what this means is your capillaries, once you caffeine goes in the system, your capillaries actually constrict. And when that happens, you um, can't perform, blood flow ceases or slows down and you get muscle cramping and it's just a nightmare for any athletic performance, but also weight loss. If you think about it, digestion, blood has to go to your stomach, blood has to deliver nutrients throughout your body. And so if you're not getting the nutrients throughout your body or you get the blood to your digestive system, you're not going to process food as, as, as well and on top of it, so you're not going to lose weight, you know, as fast or probably at all. So you're thinking caffeine's getting you through the day, but it's really not. Okay. Um, the next one would be water. So right when you wake up in the morning, drink water. I drink one of these right before I eat anything in the morning, 32 ounces. I kick it back right when I get up. So if you're not pee and clear at least every hour and a half to two hours, even if it's just a little bit, but if it's not clear, you're dehydrated. Even if it's slightly yellow, you're, you're all right, like slightly, like pale, 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 almost white. But when you start seeing yellow, 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 that means you're extremely dehydrated, which is probably from caffeine, which is the proper, proper the other, the other uh, thing we were just talking about. So before every meal, drink one of these. I know it seems a lot, but you'll see the biggest change in your weight loss. You'll see the biggest change in your body, and you'll see the biggest change in your athletic performance if you start really, really making sure that you're getting consistent with the water. Um, the next one would be consuming more simple carbohydrates. Um, and what I mean by simple carbohydrates is fruits and um, veggies, stuff that your body can process fast. Um, and that's throughout the day. You know, I, what I do is um, I do fruit, fruit throughout the day, and then at night I have a cooked meal. Um, and what this allows me to do is I don't get heavy and I don't get slowed down by digestion throughout the day. Um, so what we need to do is worry about eating more some carbohydrates, fruits, um, lots of water. Um, and trust me, if you eat enough fruit throughout the day, you're going to have plenty of energy, plenty of energy. Um, I bike 40, 40 to 50 miles a day just because I have so much energy from eating fruit. And I have four kids and I work full time, so it's a big difference. Um, muscles, after you exercise, they need about 70, they deplete about 70% of their glycogen stores, so you need to replace them after exercise. So the biggest importance of recovery is replacing glycogen, so you need to eat fruit, you need to replace that, those sugars in your body. Um, the protein is the biggest farce on the planet. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I used to believe it 10 years ago, but it's the biggest performance inhibitor and recovery inhibitor I've ever seen. It's the stupidest thing I've ever, that, that is out there right now is this whole protein hype. Get off the protein, you're gonna gain weight. It's a weight gainer, it's not a weight loser. You need to start eating the carbohydrates after you eat. You know, the bananas, the dates, the peaches, the mangoes, all these this amazing fruit, especially during the summer. I live in a four season uh, environment, so we get winter, which kind of stinks, but um, we make it work. Um, so at night, I do, I do a cooked meal, I eat, you know, rice, veggies, pasta, potatoes, vegan pizzas, burritos, chilies, all vegan, filled with nutrients, filled with protein, we're not even thinking about protein. You don't even have to think about it. Don't worry about protein supplements and powders and all that crap, you don't need it. You're not a bodybuilder. So those are the things I recommend. Any questions, ask down below. Any comments, down below. Make sure you subscribe. 
Um, the next couple videos, I'm going to start doing what I eat in a day so that you guys get a, a, a kind of a good idea. Um, and um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.